There are many unexplained events and terms that we do with spiritual energy. Meditation, clairvoyance, hypnosis, psychics, levitation, astral travel, mystical teachings, magic, evil eye, ghost, jinn, spirit, scholars. Again, these events are related to the soul and beyond physics. The existence of living has been the subject of many types of research and science. Terms such as metaphysics, occultism, spiritualism, parapsychology, telepathy, and telekinesis are related to the existence of the invisible and the energic world and all living beings. It has been proven by presence of much audiovisual evidence as well. Even having so many domain names and scientific research subjects is a kind of a proof of world beyond physics and beings. Even Freud, the founder of psychoanalytic school, pointed out that how intervened human and metaphysics are, saying, if I could repeat my life, I would dedicate myself to paraphysic research instead of psychoanalysis. Freud's report was titled Psychoanalysis and Telepathy, in which he gave his views on telepathy, which was published after his death as a result of the pressure of scientific circles. Before moving on the scientific explanation of metaphysical living things, let's try to present concrete scientific evidence and theories about the existence of the metaphysical realm. Although the existence of the soul cannot be seen in human beings, it has been scientifically proven by various theories and experiments. It is said that by scientists that human consciousness can only be explained by the soul. In the last century, there was a brilliant scientist by the name of Dr. Wilder Penfield, and he was also looking for the soul. He was a neurosurgeon, and when he would operate on his patients, in those days they do neurosurgery under local anesthesia because your brain doesn't feel any pain when you operate on it. And he would um, stimulate different parts of the brain to see what was happening. So one of his experiments uh, was one day he was stimulating a part of the brain called the motor cortex. And the motor cortex is that which controls movement of the body. So he's stimulating this, the patient's arm started to go up like this. And so you ask the patient, what's happening? And the patient said, my arm is moving up. He said, are you moving your arm? And the patient said, no, it's moving up. Maybe you're moving it for me by stimulating my brain. And then the patient was told by Dr. Penfield, he said, even as I stimulate your brain in order for your arm to move like this, I want you to make a choice. I want you to move it somewhere else. And in one instance, the patient reached over from the other arm and pulled it in this direction. In another instance, he resisted the movement and put it somewhere else. And with that simple conclusion, Dr. Penfield came to a very interesting conclusion with that simple experiment. He said the brain is telling the body to go like this, but there's someone here who's telling the brain, I'm not going to let you do that. I'm going to move it like this. He said there's a choice maker that can override the commands of the brain to the body. He said, I know where the command post is, but where is the commander? All cells in the human body are constantly changing at certain intervals. From this point of view, materially, we are not actually what we were a year ago, but we claim that our personality, memory, self, consciousness have never changed. It is what we call the spirit that provides this. The metaphysical status of man, brain waves, aura, the doubles of the soul. These are all sources of energy. For example, eyes are the windows of the soul and the cosmic energy center. The energy and magnetic flux emanating from the fingertips are determined by science today. As a concrete proof, we can present Kirlian photography in which a human's aura or energy current is displayed. Those who claim that shapes observed in Kirlian photography is not aura state that these images are formed randomly by an electric charge of the air around us during photo shoot. Nevertheless, those who are interested in subject already believe that these images show the subatomic particles around us. For example, they assert that the images are formed as a result of electrons around us, being charged by electric and the subatomic substances around us in the air already acting according to and shaped by our feelings and thoughts. Quantum scientists maintain the same ideas, namely the subatomic particles act according to people's thoughts, and that thoughts even create brain chemicals and produce subatomic particles. The act of thinking creates and shapes electrons. True. 
It is not the soul that is seen in curly and photography, but it is a visible reflection of our world of emotions and thoughts. In other words, the subatomic matter around a person indicates the state of that person's emotions and thoughts. Again, Dr. Harold S. Burr proved this by finding the electromagnetic field of the human body. This electromagnetic field, which Dr. Burr named the L field, surrounds shapes and controls the body of all living systems. This energy field, measured with standard voltmeters, is determined by human emotions and thoughts. 93 articles written by Dr. Burr, who established that physical illnesses also originated from deteriorations in this energy field, and who even treated some of his patients with this method, are in the archives of Yale University. However, these discoveries of Dr. Burr were swept under the rug because the medical industry and pharmaceutical companies, which were monopolized by the financing of John D. Rockefeller, saw antibiotics as the only tool to correct human mechanics. These different energy, currents, auras, etc., which are released in our body after the good and bad emotions we experience, and whose existence in the scientifically proven are metaphysical phenomena, as they do not act under the laws of physics in our three-dimensional world. Metaphysics means that, which is somehow opposed to physics. Scientists have tried to explain these metaphysical phenomena, which do not act following our three-dimensional world, with quantum and string theories. 